We're both wearing like kind of a maroon color. We are, and that was not planned. Guys, that was not planned. Oh, are we recording? <laughs> I thought you'd be like, three, two, one. Here no, we go. no, we're, we're way past that. Okay. <laughs> we don't fair. do that anymore. Hello. Yeah, we're not all about that. We're not about that life. No, no. Uh, that'd be outrageous. Mm-hmm. To give you some context, she is eating some. What happened to them? They're mini pancakes. Yeah, but what's up with the tops? That's butter. That's butter? You put butter on them? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're so weird. She has like these mini tiny pancakes. <laughs> well, actually, you the people on camera can see, but I'm describing to the, to the listeners out there. Um, she has like probably the size of like a, like a small child's fist, maybe. Um, That's... But like... <laughs> But <laughs> that's, that's about the, that's, a pro- that's approximately the size of the mini pancakes, and they're like blueberry. Are they blueberry? No, I don't like blueberry. What are they just regular? Mm-hmm. Um, they're just mini pancakes with butter on them, apparently, <laughs> which makes no sense to me. But you know what? You do you, man. I don't like syrup. Hey, that's fair. I don't like syrup either. So well, it's not pronounced like that, though. Um, uh, what are we doing? We are catching up. It's been a while, actually. It has been a hot minute. It's been <laughs> But I was setting up the stuff, and I was like, dude, how do I do this? <laughs> I had no idea. But now I remember. It's all coming back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's all coming back slowly. Um, we're just catching up on life, you know? Mm-hmm. When's the last time we recorded? Um, the last episode, I believe, was released back in June. Wow. So it's been a couple minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Just pull it up real quick. Um, it was June 7th, so <laughs> what was that, five months ago, five and a half months ago, five and a half months ago. Sure. Um, I think we're changing up for this season. We are no longer doing, um, ads. Oh, I did not know that. Changed. We talked about that. Probably did. I just we talked about it a while ago, though. Oh, okay. Um, they were just obnoxious. They weren't really enjoyable. They were kind of uh, cringy. It was your idea in the first hey, place. Hey, listen, I know. I, and you were on board with it. Because you made me on no, board No, yes. no, no. Don't, don't make me yeah, the bad guy. No, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm not saying you're the bad guy. I'm just saying it was your idea. That's not fair. No, it, 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 was, it was my idea, and then I pitched it to you, and then you got on board. You're on board with it. It was, it was mainly your fault. I'll take I'll take the blame for that I guess. Um, but anyways, those were trying times. Is that is that the expression? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we're we're back in business, baby. Um, this episode is just about like catching up, mm-hmm. talking about the f- past five months. A lot has happened. Mm-hmm. Um, a big reason why is to why we couldn't record or why we didn't release episodes. Uh, <laughs> It's because of our schedules. Mm-hmm. We have very off schedules. Whenever I'm available, she's not. Whenever she's available, I'm not. And it's mainly when she's available, I'm not. It's mainly that. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, because normally last year what we would do is we would record on like the weekends. Um, and at the time I was only refereeing. Um, so I had Saturdays and then Sundays we'd record or Fridays we would record even sometimes. Um this year is a bit different, or at least this season. Um, by the way, this season goes till um, uh, summer. I so. did not know that either. We talked about we talked about all of this. <laughs> I don't remember. Granted, it was like two months ago, but like we still talked about it. <laughs> you gotta debrief me on these things beforehand. Um, but yeah, that's the those are the big changes. But um, what, what was I talking about? How uh, you're talking about? Oh my gosh, my schedule now it's different. Oh right, here's um, why. Yeah. Uh, we um, I just had a blank there. <laughs> I had a mini seizure. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, we couldn't record because our schedules are so off. Um, part of that's because I got a new job. Um, I actually work at the fruit store. Um, we sell all sorts of fruits. Um, mainly like apples. Stop it! That's not even <laughs> funny. <laughs> He works at the Apple store. I had this whole bit planned out where I was going to be like, yo, I'm going to call it the fruit store. 
and I'm just going to call all the different products that we sell different kinds of apples, That's like not... Macintoshes, uh, Granny Smiths. <laughs> it was a bad bit. All right, listen, it was just really bad. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I work at the Apple Store now. Um, I've been working there since late July, early August, something like that. I was hired late July. Um, so almost four months. Actually, yeah, four months. Holy crap. I think today's the four month anniversary. Yeah. Aww. I've been there for four months. Exactly. So happy On the for nose. You. Um just to give some context, today's Black Friday. Um, but yeah, that is the story. And I'm mainly working weekends, so Saturday, Sunday is when I'm working. Um but yeah, I have work later today, so there we go. Cass, what's new with you? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you finished finish your parent? You, you did. I did. It's good, it's good. Okay. Um still in school. I would hope so. <laughs> still chilling. Hey, you never know. Yeah, um, that's fair. I also got a new job over the summer. She Just did. Target. Yep. You still work there? I do. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I actually have no idea what your target schedule is. It's so random. Like, I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was just a, like a seasonal thing. Uh, yeah, I'm, a, like I'm technically seasonal. Oh, okay. So I'll work summer, winter break. So you're not really working there right now? No. You're employed there, but you're not. I'm not actively, actively working there. It's <laughs> actively like... working there. Yes, that's a good that's a good way to put it, I guess. I do have a job on campus, but like that's old news. I've been there. Yeah, it's old news. It's old news. Um, just a refresher. She works as a is an ad, no, it's not an admin, but you work as like a desk assistant person. Assistant. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is a dope job. And I feel like it's a pretty mellow job. Mm-hmm. Like if you're not working, you're just doing homework because you're sitting at a desk. Yeah. Is that fair to say? That's fair. Sick. Um, dope. Yeah, that's hype. Yeah, and you're just, well, uh, like this is all new for me because I don't know when. When are you working that job? during the day? Is it like every day? It depends on when I'm scheduled. Uh, right now, desk assistant. I usually work Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. But there are also rotating shifts where I'm working random ones on the weekends. Cool. Didn't know that. <laughs> it's in the calendar. It is? Yes. I can't check it, though. Um, to oops. clarify, we have a family calendar thing that Ryan never looks at. I look at it. Nor contributes to. I put my stuff in there. Do you? My schedule is in there, so we know when to record. So you can't hit me with that. Well, usually, you don't look or interact with it. Well, guess what? I do. <laughs> Boom. Um, so that's our current status. Um, school's rocking. School's rocking. Um, a little tough this year. Oh, yeah, I want to talk, want to talk tough about this year. Orgo. I'm in organic chemistry, so for those of you that are in that class or will be taking that class, um, it sucks, and you probably know that. You probably were expecting that. Um, I don't know why you would expect it to be easy. It's uh, <laughs> probably the hardest class I'll probably take in college. At least that's what I've heard. Bold claim. All right. Um, that and microbio, but I hear microbio isn't too bad. And then physics, but honestly, this pales in comparison to physics. So, like, just hearing these names makes me want to cry. We yeah. ha- just we have to draw organic molecules, um, and it's daunting at first, and it's still kind of daunting. Uh, the drawing isn't the hard part. the The naming isn't even the hard part. It's knowing the interactions between those molecules. There's so many different ways these molecules can interact. It's it's um it's a time, let's say. It's uh, interesting to say the least. But uh, that class is throwing me through the ringer a bit. It's, uh, it's kind of tough. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit of a uh, struggle, as they say. As the kids say. I have taken the L's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, that's my current school life. And then the rest of my classes are pretty, pretty mellow, like stats is a breeze. Whoever, uh, hold on, hold on. You guys said, AP. oh, guys, AP stats was tough. It's not. It is not. Yikes. Oh, come on. Like, let's let's be real here. I know this is unfair. I'm two years older than when you guys took it, but it's not like, come on. It's not. It's just math. It's not it's not even hard math. It's just analyzing certain graphs. Jeez. <laughs> it's not if I took A B stats, I'd be offended. It's just knowing the equations, man. 
knowing the equations and knowing how to analyze the data. You got a calculator, so a calculator can do a lot of the heavy work. And then it's just knowing how to interpret it. I was like, what? You're so dismissive. You're like, come on, guys. It wasn't that hard. Well, people were like, guys, stats are so hard. Now, I heard it, it was a mixed bag, I heard. I heard it was super easy, and I heard, I heard it was super hard. But maybe it, it might have just been like the teacher. Who's, there was only one teacher. I know, but who was the teacher? Conso. No, it wasn't Conso. Yeah, it was. No, it was not Conso. Yeah, he it was, was AP Calc. Oh. Stats was near Costa's wing. Was it? It wasn't Port Bay, was it? I don't know, bro. It's been so long. Let it, let, it, let guys. Let us know down in the comments Stop. who it was. <laughs> We're just gonna get like a random comment from like a Joe. It's just gonna be like, uh, yeah, it was um, Port Bay, <laughs> like, or you know, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl. Cheryl. <laughs> Throw back to Cheryl. Uh, that's a classic. Classic stuff. But yeah, um. Really grasping at straws here. Do you think AP courses? Well, this is kind of a tangent, but do you think AP courses helped? In oh college? yeah, yeah. I'm I I'm sure so I'm too. taking a lot of my calc stuff for granted here. Yeah, but, like I took AP calc. <laughs> AB right or is it BC? BC was the harder one. BC was the hard one. <laughs> so I took AB. I'm not I'm not that <laughs> smart. <laughs> uh, well, BC wasn't the harder one per se. It was just faster, mm-hmm. and they went a little more in depth. At least that's my understanding of it. Um, but yeah, that was, I'll definitely say for sure AP courses helped. Because last year I took bio, and a lot of that stuff was from AP bio. Shout out to Mr. Murray. Uh, I'm sure you're definitely listening. <laughs> um, but that um, definitely helped prepare me for college courses, for sure. Yeah, no, I'd have to agree. Because that's like the the main idea of AP courses. Well, just like not even the subjects themselves, just like the, the 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 pace and like the content, like you have to. Yeah, it gets you used to the college rhythm. Yeah, like I, my credits transferred over to college, so I really didn't need some subjects. Yeah, flex on us, why don't you? <laughs> Flexing, but like I, no, that's just what I'm trying to say. Like it's not the subject; it's like it just gets you used to what college is going to yeah, be like. Yeah, it gets used to the. Pace. Or what I would hope college is like. Um. I think last year we agreed that college was easier than high school. See, I feel like that's, again, a bold statement because... Well, we, we agreed that it wasn't as difficult as high school was. High school, it was obviously like the schedules like compact every single day. You're yeah. here from whatever to whatever, and oh, then you have busy. homework after. I think that was the more difficult part because in college we have control of our schedules and right. we get to give ourselves breaks sometimes. And I think True. that's definitely easier, but... In terms of, like, courses, I don't know if we can judge that because, you know, we don't know how they really compare. And it might be just the courses you're taking. I think it has the potential to be easier only because your schedule isn't as... Rigorous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Or compact. Like, in high school, you had classes, seven... You have seven classes. Was it seven classes? Six classes. Oh. Hmm. Bro, I don't remember. It, seven classes, but we had that rotating schedule. Right, so we had to drop class. So mm-hmm. six classes a day, six hours a day. Most of my college, like my, my normal college day is like two classes. Yeah, Tuesdays see, and Thursdays is one class. The thing is the classes themselves aren't hard. It's just on you to work outside of class. Yeah, that's... Um, and I think that's difficult for some people. Yeah. Because uh, they're not used to that. Procrastination is your worst nightmare for sure. <laughs> Deja vu. <But> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Correct. Um, but yeah, I think that would be hard on some people because it's a different, it's a difficult adjustment. And um, I don't know. So it's hard in different ways, I think. Yeah. It's difficult in different ways. That's fair. I think the reason as to why it would be more difficult is because it's more lax. Mm-hmm. So like if, since you have more control over your schedule um, and your day is not as busy. um you are more prone to procrastinating, to putting stuff off. Yeah. Because in high school, you'd get home at, like, what, 3.30? Mm-hmm. Not like, counting for extracurriculars or sports. Yeah, assuming you don't do any extracurriculars. And then you have, you know, six hours to do your homework for however many classes you have homework for. Typically, it's three or four. Uh, in college, you have, you know, two classes a day, three classes a day. And you might not have homework in all of them. And then, you know... 
most people have morning classes, at least from my understanding. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I'm just a queer. Well, I at least in my classes. school, most people have morning classes. Okay. Um, but like you'd get, you know, you get to school at, you know, 730, you have an eight o'clock class and then maybe like a 10 o'clock class and then you're done mm-hmm. and you're just done. You can go home and you're like, oh, you know, I'll just hang out. It's procrastination. You're, you, you're like, I have so much time to do that. I'll do it later. And most of my homework is online, which is another tangent we should probably go on. Online classes. Do you have any? I had ones over the summer, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How was that? I actually didn't mind it. Okay. I'm on a a very opposite stance. (laughs) No social interaction. Well, no, no, it's not that. It's just I was totally on board for online classes. I'm Uh very, like, if I can save my time, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Because ideally, online classes eliminates, you know, the need for classes. It's just reading up on the stuff and then doing the homework on the Mm -hmm. stuff. And um, I... My my war literature class, which you would think, oh, that's a dumb class, no, Ryan. That sounds that sounds fun. It's not. It is not. Do not say that. <laughs> Just don't say that. Well, it sounds more fun than orgo. Um, honestly, I think if I didn't have war literature, I'd have an easier time in orgo. Yikes! Because I have a we have a weekly assignment due every week. <laughs> it's in the name yeah. weekly assignment. Um, and like you know. I'll do it, but I put so much effort into that online assignment that I kind of forget to study for Orgo. Mm. So, you know, Orgo class the next day, I'm like, what What's ha- what, what did I miss? Because I was so focused on completing that Warlet assignment that I put all my effort into that. Well, maybe that's just a time management thing. I think that's part. a time management thing that I have to work on, but I'm so busy as it is that I can't really work around it. But that sounds like an excuse, and I'm not about ex- that excuses life. But yeah, if if you're gonna take an online class, I would just keep it at one. I have two, and it's Warlit and Psych. It's it's a psych class. It's called um, Human Development, mm-hmm. which you know also sounds pretty interesting, uh, mm. but it's not. It's just a uh, you know on, it's more of a psychology class than anything. It's not really like oh. Here's how the human develops over time. It is that, but it's also, it's mainly to do with the brain, not like, you know, anything else. Gotcha. More like any mental factors versus physical factors, which is what I was hoping for, but whatever. Um, yeah, that's my take on online. Did we talk, did, did you bring up online classes or did I bring them up? I think they just came up naturally. I forget who brought cool. it up. Dope. That's my take on online classes. <laughs> and I'm sure you have that opposite take, which is... No, because mine was more condensed and therefore more work in a week because it was during one singular session in the summer. That's fair. But I enjoyed it. Like, I was fine with it. Sick. Did I procrastinate a lot and have to do it, like, the night before? Of course. Yes. Who doesn't do that? But, like, (laughs) it was fine. Sick. Maybe it's just, you know, the other classes I have to worry about because you have those online classes. I have my online classes and then... Plus everything others. else. Yeah. So stats, orgo, American culture, which is. What even is that? <laughs> it's it's a very polarizing class, let's just say. Ooh. It's, um, it's a very, I don't want to say liberal sided class, but most of what we talk about is a very fair, you know, discussion. But the teacher will always lean to the left. Like always, like what always. Are the, lean what are the world. discussions about? Um, a good one is the the pay gap. Um, there's the we talked about that. Did oh, we talk first about that? I, thought, I didn't know what you said at first. I was like, the what? The pay gap. There we go. Yes. We, what did I say like pega. I thought you said Pegasus. peg app. I was like, what the heck is that? Yeah, that peg app. Is yeah. That a thing. I don't it probably think is. so. Um, oops! I just opened stocks. Clearly, I'm a very avid user. It's a it's an app. It's like a I, game. I know. Oh, it's literally like those like peg games. Oh, like you know that those like IQ tests. Yeah, it's one of those. Um. Uh, anyways, I digress. Um. The pay gap. Um. We also talk about um racial inequality. Mm-hmm. Um. What else? Transgender people and their rights. Um, 
all sorts of other stuff that is not coming to mind, but it, but mostly is a polarizing topic. Um, and like, we'll always look into it. Like we'll always look at it initially as a very neutral argument, but the teacher will always have hints of left in her. Not that I don't blame her cause she is, um, uh, left-leaning Democrat. But I guess that's in the name Democrat. You know, I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> let's, just, <laughs> let's just not keep talking. Yeah, but yeah. it's a very polarizing class. And it just kind of gets me on edge because I'm an independent, so I lean, I lean left on some things and lean right on the other things. Mm-hmm. And it's not that, oh, I think... The teacher doesn't put it as, I think that, you know, uh, there is a pay gap. She, you know, very boldly states there is a pay gap. Because there is evidence to there, show that but, there is, a but here's gap. the thing: it's it's a it's a very polarizing debate because it's a very toss up argument. There's so many factors to the pay gap. It's not just oh, it's it's not as cut and dry as it seems. Nothing is as cut and dry as it seems. We've learned this, mm-hmm. duh. Nothing's ever cut and dry, but she puts it as that. It's like oh, here's well, the I think stat. That's just just to encourage debate and. Like that, she's doing it on purpose. I don't. Th- she's not. You have to be in the class to see it. It's very. Ask anyone that's in that class. Guys, let us know down below. Stop. <laughs> uh, guys, also, um, just a quick side note. Um, we have these mugs, fifty percent off Black Friday sale. Uh, oh Twin Talk dot store. Stop it. Go grab yourself one. It's not a thing. Um, <laughs> it's we have not. other merch. We have hoodies, t-shirts. Um, we have pencils with uh, Twin Talk and Green. Saw them. <laughs> Water bottles, even those are brand new. They're not Camelback. They're um those hydro flask ones. <laughs> They're white with uh, the the red Twin Talk logo on them. Um, but yeah, Twin Talk store, fifty percent off everything. Go cop yourself some merch. I'm just gonna clarify. It's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> In case that was not clear, <laughs> nobody would buy it anyways. <laughs> Let's be real. Okay, maybe like two people would. <laughs> If that, it would not be a sustainable source of income, let's say. Amazon.com, it's your Black Friday deal. Start now. What? I'm going to shop for some. Just kidding. Oh, side note, though. Um, they did just, well, not just announced. It's been out for a couple months. But Amazon has this Amazon Smile thing. If you ever, it's smile.amazon.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's pretty dope. If you're ever going to buy something from Amazon, do smile.amazon.com. I have it bookmarked in my Safari Why? tabs. Um, you can choose a charity and they donate like, is it, I have to check how much they donate, but they donate a portion of the sale to that charity. So I think mine's the Red Cross. Let me see what my charity is. Um, but there's like so many you can choose from and they donate, they let you know how much you've donated over time. I, yeah, mine's the Red Cross. I've donated 70 cents. (laughs) I haven't, it's how much I've ordered i haven't really ordered a lot from amazon recently or ever well actually that's a lie that is a lie. <clears throat> that's a big fat lie clearly um but they've raised um as of november 2019 156 million dollars wow towards all charities that's cool it's pretty cool they should advertise that more i think it's on there but yeah if you if you go to look up amazon smile it's smile.amazon.com um, just bookmark it, and then whenever you think of buying something, buy it through there. It's a little bit, but it's it's not it's not too much, but it's something, and it costs nothing. It, there's no you know extra cost for any of the products. It's just they donate on their end proceed. I think it's part of the tax because Amazon has to tax you, um, or maybe it might be a percentage of the total sale. I'm not sure how it all works, but they donate a portion of the sale, whether that's tax or shipping or whatever. But anyways, I digress. Um, their Black Friday deals are kind of trash. Now that I'm looking at them, nothing great. Uh, I tried shopping for Black Friday this morning. Really? I did. Yeah, I went to Walmart to grab something, and they are, of course out of stock of it. Yikes! Can't say what it is clearly, but yeah, these Black Friday deals are trash. But on their website, it said, "Oh, it's in stock," and I went there, and it wasn't. I was like, "Yo, bro, it's like this really." <laughs> the dude that was manning the tech counter, he was a really sweet dude, but <laughs> just like imagine like your stereotypical white teenage stoner. 
<laughs> just imagine that, you know, with like the hair. It's like, yo, bro, what's up? <laughs> that sort of thing. I said, yo, yo, you got this in stock still? He's like, nah, bro, we we ran out of those like five hours ago. Wow. Because you know, people are crazy. Mm. They, it wasn't terribly busy there, but it was, it was busy, busier than usual. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's the that's what's up. The Black Friday deals are trash. Amazon's Black Friday is pretty underwhelming. Their Good Prime Day is usually better. Hmm? Their Prime Day is better. In what is it, July? I don't know. Whatever, August. Um, what else do we have to catch up on? Do you want to talk about your job? Talk about your job, Cass. What do you do? What's your What's your thing? I stalk stuff. You stalk people, Cass. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Stop. She's a profiler, people. Just in case you weren't aware. I don't know. <laughs> I just profiles people. Work with merchandise occasionally. She makes sure to at least shoplifting. <laughs> yeah, I just run yeah. people down. You dr- actually dress up as a customer. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> you just stand around. You're like looking at your like your Gerber. I don't know what are those puff things that babies love to eat. The Gerber puffs. <laughs> Why was those that the Gerber first snacks? thing? I don't know. You're 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 like that weird person that just looks at them, but you're actually just stalking people, making sure they're not shoplifting them. <laughs> like those those dried prunes or whatever they are. <laughs> I don't know. It's so random. <laughs> You just turn around and someone's trying to shoplift these Pampers diapers. <laughs> it's like, hey, put those down. Put them down. I bring out my like name tag as like yeah. a badge. It's like, yeah. Stop it. You're like, I actually work for Target. I'm actually their professional profiler. They actually called me the prof prof. <laughs> the professional, professional profiler. Profile. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> it's just your job title. The prof prof. <laughs> it's written on your ID. <laughs> You have like one of those retractable reels. It's just hanging from your belt. They go from. Yeah, you're like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Stop right there. <laughs> They're just like, what? Like, I don't care. I'm still going to mm-hmm. steal these. Dude, it's two for one. I'm just going to steal them. I'd be like, all right, okay. Go with your yeah, business. Yeah. You would, I feel like you wouldn't actually stop someone from shoplifting, though. Yes, I would. You don't seem like the type of person that would be like, yo, stop shoplifting. So You're going to pay for that? So you're saying that I'd be like, okay, go ahead and shoplift. No, but I feel like. No, 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 no. But Jeez. I feel like if you saw someone actively shoplifting, you wouldn't go up to them. I would you'd stop get, them. You'd get like a manager or something. Well, I'd stop them. I'd be like, Which is totally fine. That's yeah. what I would do. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. I mean, it depends. I have to really assess the situation. We have like walkie-talkies, so I'd be like, Oh. That I'd run over. Smart. Be like, hey. Let me tell you. Obviously, we have walkie-talkies. Yeah. But yeah, that's. So you just stock things? Yeah, and I cashier occasionally. Okay. How often? How often are you cashiering? Like, whenever what's, what's they, the ratio? Whenever they... Less than I'm... Because that's not my actual job, thank God. Oh, okay. You don't want to cashier? No, it's stressful, man. It's not stressful. Yes, it's it dope. is. That's hype. Um, cool. Anything mm-hmm. else that you do for fun? Oh, dance. Still doing that. Oh, I meant at your job. But I guess, oh. sorry, that, that was poor wording on my part. <laughs> oh, I have but my you job. do dance. You actually did have your, what was it, the dance recital? Performance, yeah. That I couldn't go to. Yeah, that he missed because well, of let's be, work. Well, I have to put in my schedule. You prioritize <laughs> work over your own. No, it's not sister. that. I just it's fine. It's fine. I'm not hurt or anything. I was just curious as to why that was Whatever. Thing. I'm seeing your play, though. Which, Yay. December 6th through the 8th. 7.30, 7.30, 2 o'clock, respectively. Oh, wow. Um, you, you got it. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to all three shows or anything, because I'm not. <laughs> I'm actually not. I'm just going to the Friday show. Um, but is it at MassArt? Mm-hmm. It's at their auditorium, mm-hmm. which I, their auditorium is more like professional than Emmanuel's, which I find hilarious. Well, they're in art school. Obviously, yeah, they're going to have a better auditorium. Yeah, but what, like MassArt, I feel like is more... I, I feel like they're not performing arts although that would make sense i feel like if you're going to mass art you're going for something more you know like architect or designer Mm -hmm. like uh like film uh producer or something you know you know graphic novelist or something performing arts seems like a weird thing to go for at mass art unless i'm just maybe that's just me i don't know let's see if they have a performing arts program yeah you do that um but her play is on the 6th or the 8th is that next week? We yeah. we won't be out. This won't be out by then. 
Oh, it won't? It's next Friday. Oh, it's next Friday. That's right. Um, no, because we oh have to Oh my gosh, have, we wanna... it's in a week. It is in a week. How's it going? Like, is it going okay? <gasps> is it? Does it look good? <laughs> <laughs> Just no comment. No comment. It's actually classified. I mean, yeah, no comment. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah, it's in a week. What is it called? Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice. Are you like a like a lead? I'm, I'm, I'm a part. I. <laughs> wow. I wow. So. Hold on. Wait. I'm gonna see. I don't see any performing arts. Wow. Never mind. I, you better retract that statement. Yeah. Clearly, they'd have to port performing arts because they're an art school. Well, they're still gonna need the stu- the um stage. Well, yeah, but like that's for film stuff. I feel like. And they're still gonna need it. I don't know why they'd have an auditorium if they don't have a performing arts degree or track. That's kind of weird to me. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's just me, though. It just might be my opinion. It's just my opinion, bro. It's my opinion. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's December 6th through the 8th. Go check it out. Yeah. I have no idea how good it is. I'm vouching for a show that could be crap, for all I know. Gee, thanks. Although you're in it, so... It definitely is. Probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, your for fun thing. Mm-hmm. And then your dance recital was two weeks ago? Yeah, about. Um, I missed it, but it was pretty hype from what I saw. Thanks, babe. She had like a Michael, they had like a Michael Jackson piece. They had so many pieces in there, but there was one with like a Michael Jackson piece. There was like four or five Michael Jackson songs. Mm-hmm. Um, it was like a mashup. It was, it was a good mashup. time. Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure, bro. Pretty dope. Dude, I bit my tongue while eating ice cream and it really hurts. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. It has nothing to do with the conversation. But Why like, are you chewing ice cream? I'm not chewing ice cream. How did you bite your tongue? I then? don't know. What? <laughs> I was eating it with a fork, so I was just. Yo, bro, I just bit, like, the tip of my tongue, and it kind of hurt. No, it's, like, the side of my tongue. Oh. Like, ah. Why are you chewing ice cream, though? <laughs> Still begs. Oh, is it, it's the mint chocolate chip, though, right? Yeah, because there's chocolate chips All in right. it. All right, I'll let that slide. Don't chew ice cream, though. Like, if it's just, like, straight vanilla or chocolate, why are you chewing it? <laughs> uh, anyways, anyways. Uh, uh, moving on. Um, I don't know. What else, Cass? Hit me. Hit me with a. Hit me with a. Hit us with a question that we can answer. Um, question, answer. How do you feel about twenty twenty being in like literally a month? Oh snap! End of the decade, dude. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and then the election. Oh crap. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's because I just yawned. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. I didn't even see it. I feel like that, that yawning psych thing is kind of accurate. Yeah. I was always like, nah, it's just a coincidence, but then it like, happened like every time. <laughs> You're like, hmm, maybe not. I don't know what it is. I feel like it dates back to like ancient times, ancient humanity, you know, as like a primitive thing, a primitive response. Interesting. Like a yawn. Maybe it was like a battle cry. <laughs> just yawning. And everybody just responds like a... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they do it through like a a blowhorn or something. <laughs> Is that what it's called? A blowhorn? Did I just completely butcher that? I... That's a thing, right? I think so. I have to look it up to, val- to validate myself. Blowhorn. Yeah, it's a blowhorn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like one of those like horns. Which reminds me, for some reason, Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus, oh, I thought we were gonna streaming say, services. I thought we were going to talk about that in a different one. We can. Yeah. Let's do it. But it's like the battle of the streaming services. It's pretty cool. It's crazy. It's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. It's pretty crazy. Uh, um, you didn't answer my 2020 question. What was your 2020? How do you 20? feel? How do I feel about it? Mm-hmm. It's just another year. The election is going to be interesting, though. Yeah. We're going to be turning 20, Cass. 
Holy crap. <laughs> I don't like that. That doesn't feel right. I don't feel 20. I, I should not be allowed to be 20. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I shouldn't. Be I probably allowed. shouldn't be allowed either. I have to like downgrade myself. <laughs> it's like eighteen. <laughs> just like, why don't we go backwards? Yeah, it's just backwards in time. But yeah, it's fine. That'll be uh, twenty twenty. Will be interesting. Mm. Uh, how do you feel about it? Is there anything to feel about it? It's just no. It's just right? weird. Yeah, time is moving, Cass. It's a constantly progressing thing. Jeez, oh, that was very it's pretty, aggressive. It's pretty cool. It's pretty like, cool God, phenomenon. time is moving. Time is actually moving. <laughs> wow. I know. That's what I said. <laughs> 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 yep. I just got a text. Wow, he's so unpopular. Um, it's from nobody important. Well, I'm, shout out to you, whoever that was. You are important. Don't make me feel like you're not important. Anyway. Anyway, I don't know why I went off on that tangent. That wasn't really a tangent. It was more like an address. Cass, we got to chat about something else. What else do we have to catch up on? I thought that was essentially it. The jobs? Mm-hmm. Do you want to talk more about them? No. Cool. What else? I think we, we're pretty much good. Yeah, it's been 30 minutes. Yeah. We're not cutting it short here. <laughs> I thought we agreed on it was going to No, be- no. We agreed on an hour. Mm-mm. An hour or less. No. This but, qualifies as less. Th- yeah, half. That's half. We're uh-huh. not doing that. Yes, come on. Come on. What else is there to catch up we on? We said we weren't going to prolong it unnecessarily. Well, guess what? We're not prolonging it. We're still chatting. Fine. What are we chatting about? Um, I don't know. We ch- talked about jobs. Talked about school. <laughs> mm-hmm. so that's a given. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? <coughs> what happened recently? We can talk about. This is something I feel like we we should have hammered out before we started talking, but I feel like I feel yeah. like we both knew that we were gonna talk about catching up on stuff. Oh wait, can we pause it and then come back? We're not pausing, Cass. That's unnatural. Oh stop it. Ugh. Ugh. What do you mean? What do you mean? Stop it. What is there to talk about, Cass? We have to talk I about don't something. Know. What happened? We turned 19. Oh, that's right. It's been, <laughs> we were 18 last we did this. <laughs> Whoa. For my birthday, I actually applied to Apple. <laughs> oh, that's cute. For my birthday, I started working at Target. That was your first day? That was my first day. Well, there you go. That was traumatizing. Why was it traumatizing? I don't know. I was just so It was stressed. like, oh, happy birthday, by the way. You're going to start stalking, you know, just... You know, these little packs of paper. Here, just go to, like, the office supplies area. Stock that stuff up. Really fun. Promise. I feel like um, I feel like retail workers don't get the shout-out that they deserve. Yeah, you know I know. what I'm saying? They put up with all sorts of crap. Mm-hmm. God. Walking today, like, to the Walmart. I'm getting back to that. But it was just kind of – I felt kind of bad. But they work. Do they work overtime at Black Friday? Is that a thing? I don't think so. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Mm. Oh, fool you! Thought there was water in this mug. <laughs> you wish. Um. But yeah, that's uh, applied to Apple on my birthday. Nice. You started working at Target mm-hmm. on your birthday. Um. Sick. My favorite. Your favorite what? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, it sounded like you were gonna continue your sentence. Uh, well, uh, no, I wasn't. I actually, we, yesterday was Thanksgiving because clearly today's Black Friday. Mm-hmm. We played a giant game of Monopoly. <laughs> I won. <laughs> I feel kind of bad though because it was my little brother that was playing, like Evan. I feel yeah, bad. that that was the final two. Yeah, it was the final two, which actually kind of says a lot. Yeah, like my dad got out. Like that's ooh. to be fair, I I dropped out. She dropped out pretty early. Why Why did you do that? I don't know. You just got bored. Well, I was eating, and I was like, oh, Evan was like, "Do you want to start play?" I was like, "I eh, know, still eating." He was like, like, "Okay." Then he just was like, "Cass is out." I was like, "Okay." 
oh, you didn't like that was just un- involuntary. Yeah. Like you didn't actually want to be out. Yeah. But oh. then I was like, then he said I was out. I was like, you oh, okay. probably would have won. You own a lot of property. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. You just had a lot of property. <laughs> <laughs> you just had property. <laughs> Whatever. Because uh, you had like you had Park Place, mm-hmm. which is the one of the most expensive ones. You had like two of the greens, and then you had some of the purples, like the magenta ones. I honestly don't remember. You had you had a good spread. Thank you. No problem. I own like the railroads, which, by the way, if you're ever playing Monopoly, railroads and utilities. That's where why it's are we at. talking about Monopoly. I don't know. You weren't contributing cash, so I decided to step in. Well, but yeah, railroads, get them. They're really good income early game. Late game is when you guys, you know, you gotta start buying stuff. But well, you actually want to buy st- as much as you can. <clears throat> Anyways, Anyways. Uh, there's a lot to Monopoly. The simple game, but there's a lot to Monopoly. Please, please, we're not talking about Monopoly. We're not going to talk about Monopoly. No. Anyways, the game of Monopoly was devised in 19- <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. I'll talk about my job then. Okay. Go for it. Vaguely. Talk about my job. Oh, because he signed at- an NDA. Oh. <laughs> oh. He I can't actually, tell I didn't us. actually sign an NDA. I agreed to not disclose any... Oh, so then you you didn't sign anything. You're totally done. Well, I did it. sign it. So I guess. So you did sign an NDA. What the heck? All right, anyways, anyways. They don't, we don't know anything. They don't tell us anything. Apple doesn't tell us anything. They they let us know. I'm not going to talk about it. But we don't know, like, what uh-huh. the new iPhone is going to be. Everybody's like, oh, you know what the new iPhone is? Like, I have no idea. I, dude, I have no idea. Apple has 100,000 employees. You think they're going to tell everybody what the new iPhone looks like? They'll definitely leak it. They're hundred percent gonna leak it, so it makes sense that they're not gonna tell us. Anybody talk about your job? What do you um, do? So I was hired as a technical specialist. So that means working the Genius Bar, but not working like fix stuff. I well, I kind of fix stuff, but I'm not a genius. Everybody has that misconception that everybody that works at the Apple Store is a genius. But spoiler alert: we're not all geniuses. Clearly, have you seen me? Uh, I was gonna say that. <laughs> uh, there's like half a dozen geniuses that work at Derby Street, give or take. Genius is like the top of the food chain in terms of the technical side. Uh, they fix everything, but they're the only people that are certified to fix Macs, which is why if you ever have to go in for a Mac appointment, it seems like, oh, there's no Macs here. But why is the wait so long? That's why, because there's like two geniuses working at one time. Um, but that's just to clear it up. We're not all geniuses, Okay. Again, so aggressive. <laughs> Everybody's like, "Can you just fix my computer?" I like, I'm working on Sales Pro. I have no, I have no idea how your computer works. I know what it does. I can tell you about it. <laughs> I'm not trained in that stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just a, it's a misconception that kind of hurts us because then we get people that are upset. I know you can fix my computer. Why can't you just fix it now? And I tell them, "Oh, well, I don't know how. I don't know how to fix your computer. I know how to troubleshoot it." I don't know how to hard like fix the hardware. I don't know how to, how to turn it. I don't know how to run. Do, I don't know how to do stuff with your computer. Mm-hmm. But on the, as a technical specialist, I just troubleshoot things, not computers. I troubleshoot you know uh, pretty much anything else like phones, uh, iPads, watches, stuff like that. Um, and um, but what they they initially had me start out in sales. Because, you know, they get to really get to know the products. And then uh, they put me in um, the tech side. Yeah. A lot of training. A whole mm-hmm. lot of training. Yeah, I was going to say, explain explain the training part. Just a long training process. Um, I was hired July 29th, which is today's November 29th. That's right, four-month anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, the first couple days is like, you know, well, actually, the first day is just, you know, hammering out the details like like your contact info stuff like that um and then we get some training in boston um which you knew about so i can talk about it god and then there's just a lot of in-store training it's like a normal retail job there's just more in depth like you got to know about the products and that's that that's the training process nice favorite part of your job Ooh, 
That's a good one. Um, there's a lot I like about it. If I so just to clear things up, um, I applied to Apple because was it Dad? Oh, Dad was like, "Yo, you should apply." Well, this is actually last year. My dad was like, "Yo, you should apply to Apple." I'm like, yeah, okay. Um, I started to apply to Apple, but I never actually finished my application. Because mm-hmm. uh, I was like, I'll just do it later, and I never got around to it. Um, and then this, the start of the summer, I actually applied to CVS first. That's right. Um, to just be like a one of their techs. The medical um, people? Yeah, just like, you know, hands out the drugs to people. <laughs> Basically, in layman's terms. Uh, actually, it doesn't even... I just hand people's stuff out. It's like, oh, I'm here to pick up a prescription for, you know... Whatever. You know, wintergreen or whatever. I don't know. I hand them the prescription. Um, so I applied there. Did I just kick you? I'm sorry. Yep, you're kicking But me. I applied there, and then they were like, oh, sorry. We already filled out the spot. I think it's just because I have really no medical experience yet. Um, besides shadowing. I did a lot of shadowing. But no, like, work in a job there yet. So they were like, oh, we found someone better. <laughs> but I, I think it was just they didn't want to say no to me. So I was like, all right, whatever. And then I ended up applying to Apple like, a couple weeks later. Um, and then I was like, yo. It, t- it took like three weeks for them to get back to me. So now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I was hired. I don't think I applied on the 8th, but it was around that time. Um, I think they might have just called me to let me know that it was like, oh, you can get an interview or something. I think that's when the interview process started. Okay. But I applied like in June. Um, I think we actually talked about it on a podcast. Did we? Yeah. Um, we yeah. talked about how I planned on applying to Apple. Does that ring up? And I think I actually applied. But it took them like three, four weeks to actually like get back to me. And That's I was like, crazy. Because I assumed, you know, after two weeks, I was like, all right, they probably won't accept me because they're not, they haven't, I haven't heard anything. Mm-hmm. So I kind of just forgot about it. And then I was looking for other jobs. And then I got, I think, an email. They were like, good news. We want to talk more about your application. So I went in for an interview. Um, and the cool thing about applying to Apple, well, actually, it's kind of cool. They have group interviews. It's usually... Like, the ones I had were one-on-one, but with other stores, I've heard it's just a group interview. Um, and so it's kind of weird. It feels weird because in the back of your head, you think that you're you're competing with that person. Mm-hmm. Um, turns out we weren't, but that's, like, the mentality that you have. So it's just kind of awkward. Having a conversation with the interviewer is kind of awkward. Having another interview I there. feel like I've been in several, like, group processing interviews and that's definitely a weird vibe it's you're a, like yeah. i'm competing with you but i have to pretend to be friends yes. you know like i have to pretend like oh i can work with everyone yeah look at me just interacting yeah, with these it was, people it was awkward yeah but um the first the first interview i interviewed i with some girl i forget her name but nice <laughs> i forget her name because she wasn't accepted oh geez. but like she went in for that we went in for that first interview we had a conversation and then she was like trying to play up her knowledge about Apple. Um, and so, like, I think she, she had, like, this story about... She she went to Bridgewater State. Or, she, yeah, she went to Bridgewater State. She's, like, she's like 27. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> FYI, Steve and I, first people hired that were born in 2000 or later. Really? Yeah. Like, ever at that store? Ever. <laughs> wow. Pretty crazy, right? That is pretty crazy. Because everybody else was 1999 or before. Um, but this girl that I was interviewing with was 27 and the... Um, the guy that was interviewing us is one of the managers, but we didn't know that at the time. Mm-hmm. He might have told us, but I did not. Didn't, but I didn't remember that. Uh, but he's pretty cool. Um, but the, the girl had the, like this story about how she was on campus, um, and she got attacked, and she was drop watched to call nine one one. Oh wow! Like she did the press and hold the side button that calls emergency services. Jeez! So she was she that was like her big sell point. Yeah. It was a cool story. I don't really remember it that much, but I know it was about, it was like that. Well, that's awful. Uh, Well, yeah, it's awful, but could have saved your life. So, yeah, I'll watch is kind of crazy. Mm. <laughs> saved a lot of people's lives. There's like a ton of stories out there. Of, like, there was like this hiker that fell down a mountain. His Apple Watch just shattered, but it was still able to call 911. Wow. Because he was unconscious. His Apple Watch detected that he fell. In and respond in a minute, so it, call, it it was a GPS and cellular Apple Watch, so it just called emergency services. They got his coordinates, and they found him. Nice, saved his life. Pretty cool. Um, 
But that was the first interview. The second interview, I interviewed with Steve, who, shout out to Steve, um, <laughs> my guy. Clarify who Steve is, because they, they don't know who Steve is. Uh, Steve, uh, who Steve is? Mm-hmm. His last name, he's, I think he's like Greek. Steve, I'm sorry if I, <laughs> if I misclassified you. Yes, apologies to Steve, who is definitely listening it's to this. It's Steve Manolakis. Oh. It's a very complicated last name, but like to be fair, we have a very complicated last name. Yeah. Shout out to Steve. Um, Steve. But he was in my second interview, um, and we interviewed with a dude named Ed. Shout out to Ed. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's uh, one of the managers at Apple as well. Uh, pretty cool dude, not going to lie. Love that guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we interviewed with him. Um, not much else. <laughs> And then the third interview, um, that was a solo interview. Oh, yeah. And that was with Jen. She's like the store manager. Like, she owns like the store. the big boss. She's yeah. the big guy. You, if, you, if you're if you looking, yo, can I speak to, like, the big guy? She's the big guy. No, the big gal. Sorry. <laughs> Not physically, just, you know what We I get mean. it. We get it. Like, the top it. dot. Like, the top it. enchilada. Yes. Um, so, I interviewed with her. That was pretty cool. Um, and then the fourth interview was... Back with my boy Steve, <laughs> but this time we interviewed with a dude named Rob, and he's like the he controls like the entire South Shore. Wow. Um, at least that's my understanding of it, something like that. But he he manages a couple of the like Providence, I think, and then the Braintree one, and then this one, like maybe a couple more. But basically, he manages the South Shore and those stores. Um, we interviewed with him; he was cool, and yeah. That's the, that's the that's the process. So four interviews, and then it took me it took him like a couple of days to think about it, or I don't know what they were doing. I'm like, should we hire this Ryan kid? I don't know. He seems kind of lame. Mm. And then they were like, "Yo, you're hired." I got a call actually. I was setting up, you know, like those umbrellas that we have outside. Yeah, yeah. We got these giant fan umbrellas. Are they <laughs> called pergolas? I don't know. But they're like those like twenty foot umbrellas. They're not twenty feet. All right, they're not twenty feet. They're probably like eight feet. <laughs> I don't know. My dad knows. He's on the bottom. Uh, but we were setting one up in, like, the pool area because it was summertime. Mm-hmm. And I was setting it up. And I was trying to – I forget what I was doing. But I got the call. I was like, dude, shoot. I got to stop what I'm doing. I was, like, holding the umbrella or something. And so I went over to, like, a secluded area because my dad was helping me. I was like, yo, what's up? It's like, hey, Ryan, great news. want to hire you. It's like, dude. <laughs> Bro. Dude. <laughs> That's pretty hype. <laughs> I was more those excited exa- than I seemed. But those I was like, exact words. You're like, dude, that's pretty hype, <laughs> yeah, man. It was awesome. I was super excited. Um, they're like, yeah, I want to hire you. Um, they gave my, you know, all the details. Um, and then they're like, yeah, you're going to go out to uh, training in Boston at the Prudential Center. Um, it's near the Boylston store. Um, I didn't know where the Prudential Center is. Okay, it's clearly, I was just, <sighs> fine, whatever. It was like a three-day training process. It was like all day. It was cool. Yeah. It sounds terrible, but it was actually pretty cool. Um, But yeah, still in touch with a couple of those people. Because, you know, it was, it's not like just Steve and I went. Steve was also hired, by the way, just in case you couldn't tell. Um, But there was a couple, there was like probably like 15, 16 people there from the other stores. Steve and I were the only people from Derby Street. Mm-hmm. The rest were like from Boylston, Chestnut Hill, Providence. Um, no, I don't think anybody from South Shore. But yeah, we just did some training. Nice. And you can't talk about the training? <laughs> yeah, I can't really talk about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was fun. It's pretty hype. It's pretty. It's a good time. Nice. But yeah, the job at Apple is bomb. Probably the best job I could have gotten out of high school. Actually, yeah, the best job. For me, at least. Bold. For me. So are you still planning on doing the whole pre-med thing? Well, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is like a not a, not a hobby. I mean, I'd love to work at Apple full-time. It's like my job, but it's not viable. I'm not going to be able to do that full time. I have some fuzz on my head. It's like dust. It's like, you know, there's like weird hairs that you sometimes get in your mouth. Like, how did that get there? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you show up? I didn't invite you. It was like on my forehead. Interesting. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't really. Do you know what you're going to do with pre med yet? No clue. Yay. Ho- hoping to co- incorporate some tech. That'd be cool. But. In terms of Apple, I mean, it'd be nice to work there as, like, a job, but it's probably not going to happen because <laughs> they already – it seems like they have, they have like, a good backbone of people, and those people don't seem to be going anywhere, so 
Although we did just lose one of our managers. What happened? No, no, no we didn't lose him. We, no, 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 not like that. No, 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 no. He just went to a different store. Okay, he geez, got promoted. Will you say it like that, <laughs> Ryan. No, his name's uh, Matt. Matt Hench. Call him Hench. Matt Henchcliffe. He went to uh, Chestnut Hill, um, which is like in Boston. I know. Okay, cool. Just to clarify, I might pay him a visit. He's a cool dude. Do it. Um, like, but hey. he was one of our managers, and he got promoted to I think like store leader or something. Good for him. Um, at Chestnut Hill because there was an opening there, mm. and he got promoted, but there was no openings at Derby Street. So, <sighs> you sad. I'm not. I wasn't crying. <laughs> I wasn't crying that day. That would that would have been weird. Um, but yeah, it's an awesome group. There's like 120 employees there. Wow. Not working at one time, but in terms of in general, yeah, actively employed. But that's the that's the situation. Um, but yeah, it's a cool job. It's a really fun job. I really like it. I enjoy it a lot. I'm glad you do. It's a very social job. Mm. And you, I, you would like that. Well, yeah. I like it. It's not partially because, that, but not also because, partially. But you also like it. Because of the tech. Yeah. It's products that I've you know, lived with. That I've read up too much on. Oh, I know. Way too much on. I know. I followed them too closely. Like you freak out your your Instagram stories <laughs> sometimes scare yeah. me. Because I'm like, wow, he's so obsessed with this one. It's not an obsession. Thing. It's not. It's just a... Uh, an interest is the way to put it. I'm not obsessed with them. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? I'm actually thinking about the shelf that I. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking about. She's like, you sure it's not an obsession, Ryan? You sure? It's not. It's not. It's just uh, maybe maybe a an interest, uh, a love for the products. Maybe not a love, but like a, an appreciation for the products. <laughs> I think you're downplaying your own obsession right now. I'm not downplaying I it. Think you I just are. don't want to accept it. Denial. I'm not denying it. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That's that. Talk some more, Cass. I've been talking way too much. What time are we at? We are at 56. Mm-hmm. Talk some more. I feel like I've talked too much. I don't really have anything to talk I've about. I've legitimately been talking for way too long. I know, but like it's interesting because you have a cool job at Apple. Well, yeah, but you have other cool things to talk about. What's happened in your life since we last talked to the people? To our fellow <laughs> to the audience. People. We've already been over this. I know, but anything else? No. Like I'm like I'm definitely gonna have like a dozen things to talk like that I think of throughout the day that I'm like, shoot, I should have talked about that. Well, then we could always do a part two to this. Or just follow up with the next episode. Which we we gotta talk about a schedule because I we gotta figure out we gotta hammer out a mm-hmm. concrete. Is, is that, this your, your foot? Yes, that's my foot. Okay, stop touching it. It's weird. Just <laughs> <sighs> we gotta hammer out a schedule. We gotta figure out when we're gonna release this puppy. Yeah. Um. Yep. That'll be that. Do you Anything just else? Here? Yeah. No. Anything else at all? Nothing about your job, your school, friends. Nothing. She doesn't have friends. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this has been fun, Cass. I'm glad we yes, finally got to sit down and talk about stuff. Uh huh. It's been way too long. Uh huh. Like way too long. Not like, entirely my fault. Stop making. Oh, it oh, is. come on. It's both of our faults. Let's be yeah. Clear. So take your culpability right there. But like those times where I was available, you should have been available too. So you mean the random times, like middle of the night? We promised we would record. Remember a couple weeks ago, you were like, oh, I promise the next time I come home, we'll, we'll record. I was like, cool, I'm going to hold you to that. This is the next time the, I came no, home. No, no, no. And then the next time we came home, I was like, all right, Cass, we're going to record in like an hour. You're like, okay, cool. And then I was like, an hour later, I was like, hey, you ready to record? It's like, oh, we'll just do it later. I was like, dude, we got to record now. It's like, no, we'll just do it later. And then later came, and she's like, oh, it's too late. I have to pack for school. I have homework to do. I have something to do at midnight. I was like, Cass, <laughs> I hate you. Okay, I don't remember this, but. At least the times when. I'm home and available, we record, which is, for example, today. Mm-hmm. But like other times when she's home available, I'm just working and I have no time to do anything. But this is one of those times. Speaking of time, I think we're going to end it here. Woo. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much. I don't know when we're going to release this, but when you're hearing it, let us know how it is. 
If you have any Guys, leave a comment down below. Stop. <laughs> Be sure to hit that bell icon. Fuck it off. Make sure it's on all notifications, not, you know. I don't like the bell you icon. You can just ignore him. Thank you for don't listening and or watching. We appreciate it. Yeah. All right. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Peace out.